right, so I drilled, uh, I drilled in the, um, <laughs> the anchor bolts, whatever they're called. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, these things. So I got these little washers that I found. I left these in there, so hopefully that's, hopefully that's okay. These ones, uh, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get back there, so I bought, um, I bought one of these, uh, to sort of like, pew, pew. um, it wasn't all that useful, actually. It, it did some of the work, but it didn't get it all the way down. I'm wondering if there's like a, a, a torque differential in there that, I, that I'm not aware of. Anyways, it got, it got partially way in, and then I also bought this, uh, Ryobi, um, uh, impact drill. And I just kind of squeezed it back there and managed to get them in the rest of the way anyways. So uh, they're in place. That looks good. That looks real good. Um, actually, it's even more level now after securing it than it was before. So that's like even more in the center than it was when I, when I initially um, uh, checked the, 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 the leveling. So that's, that's great. Um, the next thing is up here. Unfortunately, one thing I've found is that my, um, let's see, I'll show you, my hammer drill has the drill bit stuck in there, and I don't know how to fix that, I'm not sure how to resolve it, so I need to use this to drill into the, uh, the beams at the top. Uh, so I'll need this to do that. Uh, so I'm going to probably take it back to Home Depot right now and see if I can get them to, uh, to fix it for me. I've watched a few YouTube videos and I just can't, I just can't seem to release the chuck. So this is just sort of stuck in there. Um, <clears throat> but I'm sure that will be fixable. I just bought it. If nothing else, I think I can probably uh, use the, the return policy or, or warranty or whatever. So uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Hopefully I'll get that done today.